We have iron lac water-based fluid acrylics today. Stay tuned. For custom sneakers, clothes, and collectibles like Supreme, check out sneakerpickers.com. That's right, I have 10 different colors of the iron lac fluid acrylics. We're going to test them out in a couple different ways, and we're also going to test out one of Art Primo's chisel tip empty pen markers. We're going to put some iron lac fluid in there, see how the pen marker handles it. We're going to use the paintbrush and all sorts of fun stuff. So let's come on down to the work table and see what I have going on. My very first impression of these, the bottle looks great. The first thing I definitely notice is that each bottle isn't filled up all the way, all right? I noticed, especially with the white, I mean, it's it's up to about here, okay? What I do know is, because I've, I've uh, been in the e-commerce world and packaging and products, this is a 50 milliliter bottle. And if you read the packaging, it tells you 45 milliliters, 50 FL ounces, 50 fluid ounces. So, you're actually technically getting 45 milliliters. I think they probably might fall a little short, actually, in this bottle. It does look a little low. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, some of the other bottles might make up for it where they're right above the, the line. I don't know. It is what it is. If you want the name of the color, you have to go right here on the label. You can see that it says Torque. I'm assuming that's Aspen White. I, I forget the colors I picked. There was a color chart on artprimo.com. I looked at the color chart. I said, well, they're the colors that I want right there. These are some of my favorite colors that I like to use. The blues, the purples, the red, pink. And then we could also change these. We can make variations of them. That's why I always get black and I always get white because you can you, you can use that to create different tones of the color. And creating different tones is very important because that's what gives you depth in the artwork. First things first, we're gonna use this Art Primo marker here. It's empty. We're gonna fill it up. We're gonna create our own color out of the iron lac fluid. It's got the chisel tip, so we can do some artwork with it. We're gonna put white in this one and we'll give it a shot. Now I was debating whether or not I have to uh, water it down, and I don't think I'm gonna water it down to begin with. It might not be the best call. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm hoping it's gonna soak through this tip. Take the iron lac white. As anybody knows, you have to shake it up real, real good. Aspen white. Let's take our paint, pour it in there. I think it's liquidity enough. I think that'll be fine. It seems to flow pretty good. So far, I like the bottles because that's easy dispensing, that's easy filling. You know, if I want to put some in my tray over here, just take the top off. I really like that. That's, it's, you know, it's easy for them. It's cheap bottling, it's easy. It works out uh, both ways. Put our tip on, press that on real hard, all the way so no fluid gets out around that edge. You can get that juiced up right away by just adding some paint like in the tip, right? All right, let it soak right in. And it actually soaks up good. This stuff might work pretty good with this pen. We'll have to see, that's why we're doing it. Oh yeah, I sucked all that right in. Look at that. One of my favorite things when I have a marker cap gotta go on the end so I don't lose it, right? All right, I have my black canvas here. All right, let's try a different color. Let's, let's, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. So um, we'll, we'll just start now. We're gonna, we're gonna do something. This is Iron Lac Purple Rain, the dark purple color. Let's put it on the canvas, see how it comes out. Right, it's 
tons and tons of pigment. I can tell you that much. Full of pigment. Full and full and full of pigment. I could easily see getting a nice transparent color out of this by watering it down. Maybe even put some uh, neutral color in it, some thinner. You brush that out, that's a nice solid color there. I mean, that works. Alright. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Add some more of this color here. I might possibly use the paint see how it come out playing with it 
see what happens when you do different things. I hope you enjoyed watching me use this paint today, trying out different methods and seeing how it worked. Stay tuned for more art and related type videos. I like to upload all sorts of things, but we're going to have more. I've been creating content every day, testing out new art supplies. If there's anything you guys would like to see, just leave it in the comments below and we'll try to get to it. Joe Kaiser over and out. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good whatever it is, wherever you're at. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.